I see diversity. I see diversity. Hispanic singer, Haitian Creole, English, Hispanic, white, half Japanese, white all the way. <laughs> but yet, we're all here in one place, worshiping one God to receive one blessing, and that is to love each other the way God said. And our, my church where I, where I attend and where I'm the associate pastor, it's this diverse. Our pastor is African American, who acts white. I'm the associate pastor who acts black. One of the congregants said that we were like the Oreo cookie. So it works. And what I'm saying is the connection isn't based on nationality. It's not based on cultures. It's not, there's only one culture, and that is Christ and His will. So how many of you are willing to do the will of God today? How many of you listening to over, the, over the, uh, the, the technology that we have are willing to say, I'm coming home. I'm coming home, and I want to work, and I ask for forgiveness. I know I've done some things that, that, that seem unforgivable. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're not seeking the church's forgiveness. You're seeking God's forgiveness. Because the church will forgive. But we've got to be willing to surrender. We've got to be willing to say yes to Jesus. We've got to be willing to say yes to His will. And He says, and there lastly He says, The brethren which are with me greet you, all the saints salute you. Chiefly they that are the house of Caesar's household. But he says, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. You want the grace of God? Get your, get your personal self, your mind and your spirit lined up. Encourage one another. Seek to do those things that God is doing. Yes, it's, it's challenging. Yes, you have to deal with the human element. But it can still be done. I still believe that God wants to do a great thing. But He uses us to get it done. Pray with me. Father, I thank You so much for Your work. Thank You for allowing us again to hear what You would have to say for us individually and collectively. But now, Father, it comes the time of the service where decisions need to be made that, that we should not leave here without knowing that our conduct and our attitude and our sins have been addressed and have been forgiven. Trusting in your word where you said in 1 John that if we, are, that we confess our sins, Father, you are faithful and just to forgive us. Amen. Father, forgiveness in this day and time is so much in need. But even more so, repentance of our wrong. Even though we may have felt right at the time, in the end it was wrong. Father, Walk by Faith International Missionary Church is a church that seeks to do your will. And there are people who have come and gone that need to come home. And they need to get busy. And they need to do the work. They need to put away, as Paul says, the the foolishness, the envy, the strife, the accusations, the hurt, and seek the peace of God so that they can do the work and souls can be saved and, and the body of Christ can be edified and, and we can equip more in the days to come. Father, we leave it, as always, into your hands, but let us be humble enough to walk into in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Amen.
as they are preparing to sing. This is your time of decision. This is your time to, to make publicly known things that God's doing. Listen, it can be a praise. When sin is confessed and repented of, praise is due. It's not an embarrassment. Believe me, I've been there. <laughs> But when you forgive him, then you feel the love of God. So this is your time. And as they sing, you come. And we'll pray with you.
you, Jesus. Thank you, God Almighty. Thank you, O oh Lord, for everything that you've done for every single one of us present today here. For those of you watching over the internet, we pray that the Holy Spirit was with you as well as the Holy Spirit was with every single one of us here today during this service. Now we come to the end of the service. If you still need prayer, Pastor Rollins is here. He can still pray for you. For those of you over the internet, if you need prayer, you can always send a text and a message and we will be continuing to pray for you. I thank Pastor Rollins for praying for this church and those 50 plus people who are vacant, who are at large right now. Some of them voluntary, some of them involuntary, not here today. So to finish, I will uh, read you the statement of Walk by Faith in the National Missionary Church, who we are. We are dedicated to be a family church, a teaching center, and a ministry that touches lives with the undeniable power of God for this reason. We say that work by faith in a national missionary church is more than just a church. It is an experience. The love of God is very evident here. Here at Work by Faith International Missionary Church, we welcome everyone. Here, you will see Haitians, you will see Africans, you will see Hispanic, you will see African Americans, you will see Asians, you will see Caucasian and other ethnic groups worship and pray together a real sign of God's blessing and brotherhood. We truly are one family of believers. The first time you come here, you may be a visitor. But the next time you come here, you are family. As a family church, we have a special place for everyone. And that place is empowered by the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I say, Amen. Nous nous consacrons à être une église de famille, un centre d'enseignement et un ministère qui touche des vies avec le pouvoir indéniable de Dieu. C'est pourquoi nous disons que l'église missionnaire internationale marchée par la foi est plus qu'une église. Nous sommes une expérience. L'amour de Dieu est très évident ici. Ici, nous accueillons tout le monde. Ici, vous verrez des Haïtiens, des Africains, des Hispaniques, des Africains Américains, des Asiatiques, des Caucasiens et d'autres groupes ethniques pour adorer et prier ensemble par des véritables signes de bénédiction et de fraternité en Dieu. Au nom de notre Sauveur et Rédempteur Jésus-Christ, nous disons Amen. So after this, we're going to have some uh, food, and I think every single one who participate in making this happen today, especially Sister Lala. Sister Lala, you know, for the last two years, we, we've been having all the uh, women at the church that were helping. Now she single-handed everything this year, and I, I praise God for Sister Lala. I don't do, uh, 
Après, nous allons finir là, nous allons manger. Et pour les gens qui ont regardé nous dans Internet, nous ne pouvons pas manger. Nous allons manger ça, nous allons faire des bons watch, nous allons faire des gars, nous allons bien pour tout qui est anything. I'm sorry, but God will be with you, though. So, ah. So, moi, je vous dis que l'année passée, nous avons un pile de monde pour qui aider. Mais Anne ça ouais euh là là il fait tout garder toute décoration ça il fait c'est la continue du bon Dieu merci pour cela là I didn't say that in English like all the decoration she she she's she's she done everything just by herself this year so you see in in any situation God will always provide so if uh, if uh, If uh, the devil thinks that uh, the devil is cripple every single one of us, no, the devil will not win because we will continue to move, move forward because we have the love of God in us. So I'm, I'm going to stop talking so we can go eat. Uh, I will pray for, I will pray for the food and I will pray for everything that took place today. Let us pray. God Almighty, today is your day, and we are here because of you. Without you, we will never be able to be here today. About six, seven, eight, nine months ago, we were thinking that we will not be here today. And even about six weeks ago, we think that we will not be here today. And even about four days ago, we think that we will not be here today. But because of your strength and your power and the courage that you put in every single one of us, we are here. We thank you for, the, for that, God. We thank you for everything that you're doing. We thank you for giving us the spirit of hope. And in the, in the darkness moment of our lives, we can see that you are brighter and brighter and we thank you God for that God we are about to go do some fellowship bless every single one of us that will take place that will partake in it we thank you for everyone that put a hand to let that happen today the food that we're gonna be eating we thank you oh God Almighty oh For providing all this to us today and as we go home today let our hearts know that you are the God of mine let us see your glory let us experience your love and your glory in everything that we do and we pray you oh God Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen Let us stand so I can uh, release you for the benediction. The benediction today is indeed in Philippians, the fourth chapter and verse 23. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for worship with us today. Amen. Amen. And I'm there. So the lady is going to tell us about the food. We have some food, rice with bean chicken, mac and cheese, <laughs> potato salad, and some drink. Um, fried plantain, fiction, creole, rio, rio, pickles, and everything. So I hope you enjoy yourself in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Oh, press it, 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 press it,
C'est le deuxième pour demander à Dieu. C'est le power, c'est le power, c'est le power.